this evening. Today's program uh, is entitled, Is the Rising Tide Lifting All Boats? Uh, race and Inclusion in the Bay Area. Uh, and in a minute, I'm gonna hand it over to the, the panel to actually uh, lead this discussion with you all. But I wanted to just uh, make a couple of framing remarks, uh, if I could, uh, before turning it over to uh, the panelists. And I wanted to start with a story. Uh, and really, it's a story that goes back to last week, uh, which uh, for me is, I'm sure, a lot of people in the room and outside of the room was a tough week. Um, and the story is uh, related to my son, uh, who is 21 years old. And so when uh, things like this happen, uh, I go to him uh, pretty quickly to uh, make sure that he is okay uh, and to kind of help him process stuff like this. And it was particularly difficult for me this time around because I was actually trying to process a lot of this stuff as well. And some of it I was able to uh, make sense of and some of it I wasn't. But I'm also uh, that irritating father. I'm the one who not only uh, reaches out to uh, his son, uh, but also every chance I get, uh, I reach out to his friends and preach to them as well. Uh, and on Friday, uh, I had a great experience because I actually was at the store and I ran into a bunch of his friends. Uh, and I was so happy to see them so that I could grab them by the collar uh, and make sure that they were okay. And in, in part, as I usually do, some words of what I think are wisdom. Um, and I brought up the, what was going on. Uh, and I, I wanted to make sure uh, that they were being safe, uh, that they were being thoughtful, that they were being attentive to the environment around them. And a funny thing happened. Uh, one of them said, oh yeah, Mr. Blackwell, you know, I know all about this stuff that's happening. I was talking to my dad, and he said, uh, and I'm doing this, he said, I should tape my ID to the dashboard so that I don't have to pull out my wallet if I'm pulled over. And part of it was a little bit funny because it was the extreme part of uh, how we respond, and you know, we're, uh, a community that responds creatively to crises like that. Uh, but as soon as the, the kind of laugh that we shared with one another went away, um, it was actually really troubling. Uh, it was troubling uh, because that that's not the solution. Uh, you know, as creative it is, as it is, the solution is not for people to figure out ways to safely pull out their wallets if they're pulled over. Uh, is to figure out how we can create a system where that is not uh, something that we even have to think about. The other thing that was troubling uh, was I know that a lot of parents are having conversations with their kids uh, about this, helping them to make sense of it, but there are only uh, a few of us that both have to uh, think about how they process this and think about how they can be safe and operationalize what's going on. Uh, and it just made me think that we are living in some cases some very different lives and experiences, although we walk in the same uh, world.